Tell me uh, what, what year dis- you started Discover? 2006 we opened up. It's 2006, 13 years now. Um, how have you noticed the fitness market change during that period of time? Well, well, we're living through the most rapid and exciting change in the history, the short history of our industry. You know, 13 years ago when someone worked out, they worked out at a place called the health club or the gym. And inside that health club, you could do anything. I mean, you could hop on a treadmill and run. You could take a spin class, a Pilates class, a yoga class. You could hire a personal trainer. You could go swimming. You could drop your kids off at childcare. You could do virtually anything at the health club. And the health club is analogous to kind of like the old school department store. So in the U.S., um, Macy's and Nordstrom and Sears and J.C. Penney's and these are stores where you go in that store and you can buy anything. Pots and pans, towels, uh, a shirt and tie. I mean, you can buy anything in the department store. Well, that's what the health club was. Well, over time, department stores, the department store didn't change, but the face of retail changed and that retailers emerged that said, we're just going to focus on selling one thing and we're really going to be known for that one thing. And those retailers grew so much more rapidly than the department stores did. And it, made, it didn't make intuitive sense because the department store thought, but we sell that here. And we also sell a thousand other things. How come this new concept is only selling that one thing and they're outgrowing us, I mean, by you know, a tenfold um, uh, margin? And so the same thing's happening in fitness. Now we have all of these studio concepts or boutiques or just specialized offerings that say, no, no, we just want to do spin. We just want to do yoga. We just want to do bar class. We just want to do boot camp. And my goodness, it just, it's just pure luck that when we started, all we wanted to do was one-on-one and small group strength training. That was it. We didn't do any cardio, any nutrition, any anything. It was just one-on-one and small group strength training. Well, that fits in this landscape now where the consumer understands that I can shop a la carte. I can do my yoga here, my Pilates here, my spin here, and my strength training here. And the organizations that are suffering are the health clubs. The health club is maybe becoming less relevant because the consumer doesn't believe that the health club is really passionate or an expert about any one of these particular methodologies. The health club is just a big box with stuff in it. And what's in it is gonna change as fads and trends change. And the consumer realizes, I know you offer a spin class, but there's no way that you guys are living and dying spin because you're doing a billion other things. Where when someone walks into Discover Strength, they know we are passionate, we are obsessed about strength training. It is all we're doing. And so, uh, that's the change, is it's segmentation, it's specialization, and I think it's, the, the, it's not a fad, it is the way of the future because all industries move towards specialization or, or segmentation. So for someone who's really into strength training or high intensity training as a business model, man, it's a great time to be doing it. Where 15 years ago, people looked at you and said, wait, all I can do here is strength train and do one-on-one training? This is weird, now it's very much accepted.